By me plucking out all my eyebrows, I felt as though that was the only way that I was going to be able to directly empathise with those going through hair loss. But it really, really doesn't touch on the other amount of things that they are going through physically and mentally. It really means so much to me that I can touch the lives of other people and help them through the power of makeup. Hi, my name is LJ O'Rahilly, I'm here with In The Know and I'm going to be chatting about how I use my makeup artistry skills to help people with hair loss. My area of expertise is eyebrows and what many people don't realise is many conditions cause the eyebrows to fall out and that is why I created some tutorials to offer some guidance to those who need it. Browtober is a full month dedicated to eyebrow tutorials for people who are suffering with hair loss. I came up with the idea in 2018. I started to do some research online and then I came to the realization that people without eyebrows have no tutorials. So I felt as though that my purpose was to remove my own eyebrows so that I could completely recreate an eyebrow to show all the different ways of creating an eyebrow from scratch. I'll test out all the different types of ways to do eyebrows. I'll test out all the different products that are on the market just so that I can show you what each product and what each technique is going to give you. So even if you're a very, very beginner, I'll show you how to create the eyebrow from scratch by mapping out the eyebrows. Or if you want to go advanced, I'll show you how to create little tiny eyebrow hair strokes so you can create that extremely realistic looking eyebrow. So first I'm just going to measure it up right up against the base of my nose. When you're looking straight ahead, it's the outside of your iris, which is the coloured part of your eye. And the corner of your eye is where you want to mark the tail. Join the dots together to create the brow. The reason why I picked the month of October is because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Many women going through chemotherapy can lose their hair, including their eyebrows and eyelashes. But I also touch the lives of people who are suffering with hair loss conditions such as alopecia and trichotillomania. One of the best pieces of advice that I would give you is before you undertake any chemotherapy or anything like that that's going to cause your eyebrows to fall, to take as many pictures as you can of your natural eyebrow so you can aim to recreate that eyebrow. I feel as though makeup is one of the most powerful things in the world. It can bring out people's confidence, it can enhance natural beauty. It's extremely emotional because people would feel as though they're never going to have the perfect eyebrow back again. But with the use of makeup, they can feel like themselves once again.